Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Boomer Barbecue. Today, I'm going to introduce you to my new pellet grill. And today is ribs day. We're going to do all kinds of ribs. And uh, we're going to start a new series. It's called Barbecuing on a Budget. So let's get started. So I'm back. I took a little hiatus from making videos. It's been a couple of months. I have been barbecuing. Um, but videos are a lot of work and it was kind of taking away my enjoyment of barbecuing. So I decided to take a hiatus from it. But I'm back and in that time frame I bought this pellet grill. Originally I wanted the uh, Expert Grill model from Walmart. It's a bit bigger. Um, it's around the same price. The, the Walmart version was $2.97. This one is $2.92. But this came in with free shipping and handling. Whereas the Walmart version wanted an extra $50. And I was like, I don't want to pay the extra $50. And now I'm kicking myself in the butt for not doing it. Because this one is not a big one. It's a small grill. It's a lot less space than I thought it was going to have. The other one was definitely bigger. It had a lot more amenities. It had Bluetooth. Um, the fire pot has a latch where you can unlatch it and pull it out to empty it. It's got a lot more cooking space. But I mean, don't get me wrong, Pit Boss is a very good product. It's done me well so far. I've done a lot of pork on it, and uh, I did a, a nice 8.5 pound brisket, which came out probably the best I've ever done, besides my very first one. And uh, I learned a very important thing, that constant temperatures are very important. So... Um, I, I get a bit lazy when I'm doing my offset and I don't pay attention to the fire as much as I should so it tends to give you a roller coaster of temperatures and uh, I think that was a big I think that's been a big problem in, in my my briskets so this taught me a bit of a lesson so but I want to use this one today and we're gonna be doing a lot of uh, ribs I decided to start a series called barbecuing on a budget because I watch a lot of YouTube channels and I see a lot of these guys throwing a lot of money around they buy these expensive grills and and they buy a lot of meat like they'll buy four um, chuck rolls or you know they buy a lot of meat and for those of us on a budget we can't afford all that kind of stuff we you know we get what we can and uh, I do okay I mean I spend a good amount of money on barbecue because I really enjoy it um, but you know I try to I try to save where I can. So I was going to do an experiment with a select brisket because uh, this one YouTuber I watched did a, a choice brisket where he normally does only prime brisket and then did a choice one and his flat came out a bit dry and he blamed it on the grade of the meat. Now I've mostly done choice and I've had very very good results with choice and I've done a couple of primes where the results weren't as good. And, and I'm not blaming it on the meat. I'm blaming that on myself. You cannot blame your pit. You can't blame it on the grade of meat. You have to blame yourself. You're the pit master. You make the decisions. You know, you have to do what you got to do to get that quality. And no matter what it is you need to do, if you, gotta, if, if you feel you need to inject it or you need to put tallow on it or whatever it is you feel that you need to do to get that great piece of barbecue it's all well and good uh, this guy referred to it as cheating I don't believe that it's cheating at all um, so I mean we're not making uh, competition meats here but you know you do what you got to do I mean it's for your purpose when you want to eat it how you want it to taste how juicy you want it and if you decide you want to save a little money by getting a select and it works, you know, more power to you. So I, I still, in the future, I'm going to do that. Uh, unfortunately, at Walmart, you have to call them up 
and order your brisket and they have it waiting for you, which I'm not too happy about. I would like to pick my own brisket, but it's for an experiment and we'll, you know, we'll do what we got to do. So I want to see if I can take a brisket, a select brisket and make it nice and juicy without too much work. I'm just going to trim it, season it, make sure it stays well spritzed through the entire uh, cook and, and constant temperatures and we'll see what we come up with. So for now, while I was there at Walmart and I couldn't get the brisket, I saw a whole bunch of meat that I said, oh, look at this, it's inexpensive. Uh, it's beef ribs, it was chuck riblets, I found veal breast, which I've been dying to try some uh, veal ribs. And, um, and then I bought a, a rack of uh, spare ribs. So I got pretty decent prices on all of them and I will uh, put the pictures up of what I'm cooking, the labels and whatnot, um, shortly after this little monologue here. And you'll see what it was, the price I paid, and, and, and what it looks like. And uh, we're going to see how it comes out. So, like I said, we're going to be budget uh, running on a budget here. I mean, I, go, I bought a good amount of meat. I spent about, about $60 on all the meat I bought. And I'm not cooking it all up, so I've saved some of it. But I figured for the price, um, the beef ribs I got for $2.24, the chuck riblets I got for $2.96, um, I got $1.99 for the pork ribs, and um, the lamb breast was a little more, uh, it was like $3.59 or something in that range, or maybe $3.90 something. So all in all, I still think it was, you know, good pricing, because, you know, with the meats, you know, the prices of meat the way they are these days, they're way up, because, you know, our, our wonderful uh, president, and uh, oh, let me just say, let's go Brandon, and... Uh, our lovely president has kind of screwed up our economy, so we got to do what we got to do to still enjoy that barbecue. So, all right, so I've got everything seasoned. I trimmed what I had to. We're going to try to fit it on the grill. So let's get to it. Okay, I didn't want this to be too long of a video. I did a lot, enough talking, so it's I loaded it up. As you can see, it's completely full. Back here are the beef ribs. There's two slabs all the way up to the back. These are the chuck riblets here. Um, this is the spare ribs on top. On the side here are the two lamb riblets, and I had a big, I guess, brisket bone on the ribs and then some of the trimmings, so I'm not letting anything go to waste. Everything's gonna get cooked. I'm gonna do it at 180. I'm gonna close this down now. We're gonna run it at 180 for three hours, okay? Um, I'm going by Harry Sue. He thinks that the 321 method is not good if you're doing 225 all the way through. He thinks you overcook them. So we're gonna run it at 180. It's gonna cook slower, hopefully get more smoke. And you know, the smoke flavor is not quite the same as on uh, as on the offset so we're gonna try to get what we can I know we'll get plenty of color um, and there'll be some smoke flavor as you can see now it's starting to smoke so every time it drops new pellets and for them to start burning it puts out a good amount of smoke um, but it's not constant smoke it's not like you know you would get from actual logs or whatnot but we're gonna do the best we can so everything's in I'm going to run it for about three hours. I'm going to come in after the second hour, spritz anything that needs to be spritzed uh, probably twice. And then after three hours, I'm going to wrap it. We're going to let it cook for two hours, and then we're going to see how everything is. We'll temp it, see if it needs to go any further, and then we'll go from there. And uh, We're going to try to make these as tender as possible, try to keep them juicy. Um, it looks to be a lot of these are back ribs, which is fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. Like I said, if you're on a budget and you got to do back ribs instead of a big monster thing of, you know, beef ribs, which is not cheap these days, it's seven, eight dollars a pound. So, but we're going to see how these turn out, and that's, you know, that's going to be the whole point of this. So you don't have to be a big spender to make decent barbecue. If you know what you're doing, if you take your time and you do the right stuff, you can get any grade or cut of meat, and you can make it good. Is it cheating? I don't think so. 
okay so for you youtubers out there that like to spend that money and throw your cash around and try to impress people I'm gonna impress people by not throwing my cash around and I believe that all of this barbecue even though I got it jam-packed in there it's all gonna come out good so that's my my wish and uh, I'm gonna stick to it and uh, I'll be back in a couple hours to show you how things are looking and uh, to spritz and all that so we'll be back in a couple catch you then okay the two hour marks has elapsed now I don't know if you can see but down there on the controller it says it's 180 degrees going on and this thermometer says it's only like 120 125 obviously they don't put very good thermometers on here because I put the straight up probe in there and I could get a different temperature besides so I'm gonna have to replace out that that thermometer unfortunately but because it's pretty useless anyway let's take a look at the meat see how it's going alrighty looks like it's coming along nicely you can see it has a nice red hue to it let me back this one up a bit so we can spritz this bottom one Nice color on this meat. Very red as you can see. It'll help collect more smoke with the moisture on it. do be back in about a half an hour spritz it again but I think I'll wait till it's time to wrap another hour or so and uh, we'll see you then in about an hour Okay guys, as luck would have it, it got dark and I wasn't able to show you the wrap or anything as things were going a little, I had uh, had a lot of meat in there so I needed higher temperatures so I set them higher and then when I came out to check it they really needed to be wrapped so didn't have my cam on me and so now they should be finished, it's been six hours now so it's two hours wrapped so i'm going to check these out first this should be the oh look at the pullback on there look. oh they look very interesting might be a little overly cooked Here. Probably should have cut them from the back. As you can see, it looks pretty juicy. Take a taste. Hmm. Not bad at all. Probably overcooked, but tender all the same. Not at least, not at all dry. I might do that just on here. These are the um, these are the chuck riblets. Let's 
tasty and very juicy. Alright. I'm gonna check the beef ribs next. Be right back with those. Okay, this is one of the beef ribs. There was two of those. As you can see, they look nice and done and nice and tender. Let's try to cut into these. Cut one side of the bone. These bones are huge. Sorry for the, the light. Apparently my knife is not as good as it could be, but let's see, also looks nice and juicy, pulls apart nice and easy, mm. very hot but yes, very tender. Okay, we're gonna move <laughs> to the lamb ribs now. Whoops, okay. Here are the lamb ribs. They look very nicely done. I'm gonna try to keep working with the light here. Nice bone fold here. You can see. Uh, trying to keep this you're gonna have to excuse the lighting I'm not used to working in the dark but very jiggly can't wait to try those very nice very tender obviously and juicy okay next on to the pork ribs Okay, now we're going to open up the pork ribs. See how they came out. They look phenomenal. You can see all nice and tender. Keep the light in here. Very nice and tender. Yeah, they're pulled apart. Even the little pieces of meat on the side. Okay. All right. That's going to wrap it up, guys. As you can see, everything came out nice and tender and well done and juicy. And uh, just goes to show you, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get decent barbecue if you know how to use your pit. So... Please excuse the lighting conditions. I should have done this a little earlier in the day. But it is what it is. But I think I proved my point. So, and as I, you know, mentioned before you, saw which cuts of meat that I got from Walmart. If you want to look them up, um, I'll show you the pictures at the end, right after, at the end of the video. Alrighty, so, take care guys. Hopefully we'll see you soon with a select brisket experiment.